morning, everyone. Welcome to the Old Woman Creek National Estuarine Research Reserve and State Nature Preserve in Huron, Ohio. So we're coming in here into the visitor center here. Um, the visitor center was built in 1985, and we've had several different renovations. Uh, our, our focus is, um, you know, promoting uh, stewardship of estuaries and coastal wetlands. Um, you know, we're part of a national network called the National Estuarine Research Reserve System. There are 28 of these sites around the country. We're a partnership between the state of Ohio, in our case, ODNRs, Division of Wildlife, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. And so we receive federal funding to operate as, as a research reserve. We have research and education programs. Since we were established in 1980, there have been over 250 different scientific publications done on research done here at Olman Creek. We offer education programs for uh, students, teachers, and the public. The next where it is in the Great Lakes is a place where uh, a tributary comes in off of the land and meets and mixes with the lake. And, and at that mouth is created a, a drowned stream mouth coastal wetland system. And this is a map of significant coastal wetlands. Anywhere you see one of the metal nails here it, it, is a, a significant coastal wetland system around the Great Lakes. There are over 120 of these similar systems. Old Woman Creek is a, is a very good natural example of a coastal wetland. So this is inside our visitor center. We have a map table to help orient visitors to, uh, to, to the site here. Uh, there are over two miles of trails that people can go on. Uh, we're on the Lake Erie Birding Trail, and, and so people stop here in the, in the springtime, in the fall, to see the migra migra uh, migrations of birds. Uh, you know, we, we're a little bit far east for the peak of migration. You know, uh, I mean, some of the greatest birding spots in the, in the country are in our state. We're a little bit farther east. We, we don't see quite the numbers that they do, in, you know, a little bit farther in the western basin of Lake Erie, but we see all the species. You know, at one time or another, um, you know, oh, there have been over 300 species of birds that have been documented here at the Olman Creek Reserve. And we're well known for our eagles in particular. Um, you know, bald eagles, this year at one point I saw 32 in, in, in the wetland. Uh, it, it's prime real estate for a bald eagle. These are some of our panels related to our science focuses, you know, aquatic invasive species, the loss of wetland habitat. You know, of course, our state here in Ohio uh, is second in the country in terms of wetland loss. We've lost only over 90% of our wetlands. Um, uh, water pollution, of course, um, you know, Lake, Lake Erie is, is a drinking water source for over 9 million people, uh, and, and so they're starting to see concerns about algal blooms and things like that out in the lake and, and some of the impact that what we're doing on the land has on, on the lake. And, and then the effect of climate and, 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 and coastal wetlands. Uh, climate is very important, particularly near the lake, because it's a very uh, unique feature and, and it has an, a, an effect locally. We have a series of displays here that are interactive so that the public can come in and, and uh, learn by doing. And that, which is the best way to learn, actually. This is an example, this is our virtual watershed. What you're able to do with this is kind of manipulate the landscape, try your hand at different management practices, and see what kind of effect that has on the stream, uh, the estuary here, and the lake. And if you look at it right now, it looks fairly brown, kind of chocolate milk in color, uh, lots of mud coming up. But if we do some things like if we go up here, and we, have, we keep natural streams, we buffer crop fields, uh, we protect coastal wetland areas. Uh, you'll start to see that the condition starts to get better with the stream. Uh, we, we cut trees conservatively when we develop. Um, we don't let the mud go off when we're doing construction. Eventually, you'll start to see people enjoying the, enjoying the coastal area. Uh, so it's just a little interactive game that people can play to see what kind of effect they have on, on, on the systems that they're part of. The National Ester and Research Reserve System is a long name, but what it is is these series of reserves around the country that protect areas that are estuarine areas, 
Uh, in our case, it's the Oilman Creek Reserve. There's another one in Wisconsin. Uh, those are the only two in the Great Lakes. The rest are on the marine coasts. Uh, but we all have some of the same programs and, and, and some of the same focuses on uh, research and education around coastal systems. We've been fortunate enough to have um, you know, a good relationship with our, our many different community members in the Huron area. One of them was a doctor up in Berlin Heights and uh, his hobby uh, years and years ago was uh, uh, taxidermy and so we got his complete collection given to us by a conservation club here locally. And so we display a lot of the birds that were part of his collection uh, from years and years ago. Uh, of course, we don't do that type of taxidermy anymore. Uh, birds are protected uh, through the Migratory Bird Treaty Act and things like that. But we're still able to put them on display here at the reserve for people to enjoy. Our visitor center is open to the public uh, throughout the week. It, start, it, it opens at 9 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday through Sunday. Uh, and, and stays open uh, and stays open on the weekends from one to five. So uh, uh, by all means come out and see us, look at the displays, participate in our public programs. We have a series called Estuary Explorations, which is a series of public events. You can find that information on, on the Division of Wildlife's website. Uh, and, and it has events like canoeing, uh, you know, birding events, uh, other types of things that the public could get involved in to, to enjoy their estuary here at Old Creek.